Well, everybody, we're about ready to finish up on Ares with some Clash and Siege, and that'll be it. And then tomorrow, I think it's Athena. Is it? No, 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 wait. At least Artemis. Artemis tomorrow. I think. But anyway. But if you noticed, we were 4-1 with Aphrodite, we were 3-2 and two with Apollo, and 1-4 and four with Arachne, and we're 1-2 and two so far with Ares. Although I don't really want to count that last conquest, because that was just a joke. And for all you conquest lovers out there, I have looked up the terms. So I know why the guy was not a, a extremely appreciative of my decision to go up the middle. But at the same time, you don't sabotage the game because of that. And as you can see, like I said, with Smite, one of the problems I have with it is when you do the random pickup games and everything like that, what always seems to happen is you go from winning a bunch to losing a bunch. If you win two, you lose three. If you win three, you lose two. And sometimes you just have these ridiculous losing streaks. Right now, I'm two out of my last 12. And mostly it's because the people they put me with are just really not what I would expect them to be. Like, for instance, I was playing and I was trying to win an arena, and we lost by a few points. Because a guy that was playing as Nox decided it was in our best interest to get killed 23 times. And every time he got killed, he kept saying woohoo. 23 times he got killed. He just would run out in the middle of everything and get killed. Sabotage. Ah. Uh, that's overkill, man. That's Hey, look. Pick who you want to pick, but that's overkill, man. So Ares and Clash, again, if you have Ares with any sort of towers, it works out for you. As long as everybody's not using their purifier, they already used it just a few seconds before you use your ultimate, you're in decent shape. But ultimately, Ares and Clash is not who I would go for myself. I mean, if you want to use... A somewhat straightforward Guardian and you want to play Clash, eh, go with Ares, I guess. I think Xing Chang would be better, though, in this situation. I mean, like I said, if you have a tower with Ares, you know, you have towers in Arena, but they're so far out of, out of the center of the battle. <clears throat> But um, if you have them nearby, having Zeus works out well with Ares and Xingqiang. Zeus could probably have a day here. But um, this uh, <laughs> fantasy points doesn't tell the whole story, but this looks like it could be a, a pretty interesting matchup. Like I said, I think the next god will be Artemis. We should do alright with her. Dope. You know, the PS4 has this plug. It, like, never stays in its slot. I don't know how the hell this thing connects. Why would you use your invulnerability at this point? I don't know how the hell this thing connects or stays connected because it has no real insertion insert it just sort of like sticks there and then pops out on a whim attack middle lane minions have spawned i'm going to listen to the commands of somebody with the name simba to you. The blood has 
fucking scared. The object was for you to get out of there. I have to give the guy that was in Kamazot's credit, he is very ambitious. Why can't you be more like your ally? Really, I didn't get an assist in anything. This guy using, yeah, he's not leaving. <laughs> this guy using Carnunos. I actually want to use Carnunos now that he's available. Hello, Artemis. Our hero's story begins. I would think that Ares sword would do a little bit more damage. Uh, Ares to me is too much like a warrior, and since he's the god of war, I would assume he would be a warrior and a, a guardian. You be more like your ally. Uh, whatever. I'm not going to keep having this conversation with myself. Maybe I'm getting too old for this. You guys are even drawing right now. I get it. I get it. You can face a lot of new players or noobs. No one this god awful computer gamer talk. But. Even so, at least look like, at least try to put on a, some kind of a performance, <laughs> please. For the sake of there might be a bookman that's filming you right now. Even when I was new to this game, I knew not to get myself in trouble all the time. Like by standing still. Have slain an enemy. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I haven't even used my ultimate yet. I don't know what I expected. An enemy has been slain. Huh. <laughs> 
It's like, oh yeah, hey, how you doing? <laughs> And then sometimes what'll happen is high res will give you one of these like gifts. Eh, we've been making you lose a lot, so you know we're gonna give you a nice little win here. And then you'll be like, yeah, I'm winning her, and then next thing you know. I'm trying to protect you, Arachne. How come it seems like there's only one on each side? There's supposed to be five here. What happened to Kamazots? You backing out? I'm, like, I'm only seeing Odin and Artemis, and maybe... Yep, that's what I figured. Who was that? Carnunos. I didn't even notice Carnunos. Carnunos was actually one of the few that was showing up. Kamazots has an appeal. This is going to be a two player drop right here. And you're going to just keep getting yourself killed. Uh, High res does not really. They do, they do not assist in this at all. <laughs> Trying to promote your game for new players there, high res. Eh, whatever. Showcase, right? That's what it's all about. Showcasing. So this is how Ares can be a menace in this sort of play style. Your team has destroyed a right in our house. Why can't you be more like your ally? An enemy has been slain. I like didn't even want to kill the guy. I felt so bad for him. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like a six-year-old that just picked up his dad's controller. Daddy, what's this? Look, he punches. Your team has destroyed a left enemy phoenix. You know, I could go... Yeah, let me just go back to the fountain. Just for fun. Just for shites and geigles. Alright. Hey, look. I got a meditation cloak. Kamazots hasn't moved. The one player already dropped out. These guys obviously don't know what they're doing. I still haven't used my ultimate. Let's see if I can go a whole, whole match without using my ultimate. <laughs> Killing. Free. Our hero had done it. He had beat. Okay, no one's that impressed. When I get to 8,000 fantasy points, I'll be able to get the the soul announcer pack, and that that one I'll want. The soul announcer pack is yeah. Bye. That's that's the end of this. The fastest match I ever had. It was an assault. It took me like five minutes with a group that I was playing with. But I. That got ah. Sorry. So this isn't that, but it was. It was pretty bad. Okay. Anyway, so that was a win there. See. So there we go, a win. A 10 minute win. 
You're not cooperating, Hi-Rez. You are not cooperating, but that's okay. That's fine. I rather you don't cooperate with victories than don't cooperate cooperate with losses. Okay, so in that very brief display, Ares can somewhat be a real tough compet con customer in Clash. I got a team worshiper boost. Why? For what? For being a nice guy. Okay, so yeah, you backed out. You backed out. Oops. You're just useless. And there we go. Alright, so I will continue with Siege. And I will finish up with Ares and we'll move on from there.